Oh, case, case. When is the Football Manager 2023 videos coming out? Case, what's going on? Uh, I don't know. Ask the Tyus Batan Stadium constructors. We are at the end of the 2063 to 64 season. We've made it all the way to the UEFA Champions League final. We'll be against Bayern Munich to potentially win our 21st Champions League title. I am old. I am frail. I, I want to get out of this. <laughs> I want to get out of this. I finished with the save. Um, but the, the stadium has been delayed and delayed and delayed. And I don't want to start with uh, my new save before this has at least got to a, a serious, significant conclusion. Uh, whether or not we go into uh, international management later on. So facilities, we are now due to move into the 58,925 capacity Curtis Mahoney Arena on the 4th of August. 4th of August! Now, I like Football Manager. I think it's a great time sink. But when you are playing a full season that you don't really want to do, that you that you want to get onto a different save or get onto a different game per se, it is some of the most agonizing, annoying, slow, it's just such a slow experience we got here. And, and now they're telling us that the stadium's going to get built in August. Aye, aye, aye. Anyway, we got to about December, January time, and I thought, oh, I probably... Probably should, like, get my head down and actually manage this season. Uh, once I started managing it properly, it started to, you know, pick up pace as I was slightly enjoying it again. However, I just want to get on. I just want to get on with my new save. What are these guys doing? Um, so, you know, when, when I did get back into that professional mindset, we had a look at what we could do. Uh, with Titus Patanj, and even though I won't see any of these players, yes, I have been signing up players. Um, I feel like it's just the best uh, way to um, keep Titus Patanj in uh, a good stead once I've gone. Uh, so, yeah, all these players are coming in. If we go to transfer history, they aren't the only ones uh, in this season. We've signed up £234 million worth of um, quality, and I'll just go quickly through these i mean that guy looks excellent uh Velez, uh sem quant brilliant maximum potential there uh bon bondarenko there's a goalkeeper no potential on bondarenko but you know what worth a punt roberto some of these you're not going to see maximum potential uh this guy looks really good must be said, um, a perfectionist six-foot Polish striker, maximum potential, and that wheel screams quality. Uh, we were able to sign him for £6.5 million. Conan and Goran signed up, really nice right back, uh, progressing nicely as well with all the up arrows. There's Bella Komaromi. And then we got Philip Gamble, not a gamble signing up someone. Maximum potential there from Liverpool, 39 million. And Bryce Congolo, who wasn't maximum potential. But you know what? Way of the world, uh, all of that, 234 million. Uh, what has really pleased me is that if we sort out by fees, we have Sol Juric, who was one of our own players, came from our own academy for an astounding, astonishing... £183 million. Pounds. A lot of money for Manchester United to be uh, forking out. But we got Armando Pereira going to uh, Real Madrid for, what, 90 odd, £97 million. Pounds sim simply because, if you look at this, we've still got Savo Saran. Uh, Fingerland's now getting to the age where I would sell him. But I want to keep him uh, for the new stadium. And it just meant Pereira was a little bit down by the wayside um also i didn't really like him that much marty uh decent midfielder but we got some good midfielders coming through uh what has pleased me this year is that some of the players that i, I thought had really bright futures we've able we've been able to give them uh debuts not has going to liverpool uh actually got a better wheel than what i really gave him credit for so you know what well done noah 61 million 
Uh, Gary van der Bosch. He's only got the four-star potential there. He's not going to make it. More um, interesting strikers younger than him. Leonardo Bruno finally left the club. But yeah, big ones. Uh, Marquez, man, I really had big, big hopes for Marquez, but never really hit it. He's uh, now at Manchester City on a £49.5 million deal. Harod has gone. The uh, four and a half star potential striker. De Oro Cruz. Thomas Dominguez. I, I could just go on and on and on. Good players. Uh, some I might have kept if I had a little bit more patience, if I had a little bit more uh, whereabouts as well. There's like contracts expiring at the end of the season that I would have absolutely been able to renew if my um, concentration and commitment to this save was at 100%, but it's not. It's not, and i I got, I got to be honest with you. There's a few more. Tyler Bourne, Dwayne Yas, Godoy, DeLong, DeLanga, uh, Gr Grutjaga, Blanco, Duarez, Allen. They've they've all been sold, and a few on a free. I'm not going to go through all of them. Um, the big one is Jorich, uh, with £183 million off a player that we produced ourselves, which I, I think is amazing, because I, I don't see it that much. I saw it slightly with um, uh, Rupel Boom, but outside of Rupel Boom, certainly Titus Patanj, there's not been that much quality coming out of our academies. Uh, yeah, so here's, here's the Azerbaijan midfielder, of course, that we produced ourselves, uh, who apparently is also a centre-back. I don't know, I, I think I, I will rather play him as a, a midfielder, but we brought him on uh, to the first team. Let's quickly go through this. I mean, M Mbalo was an amazing sign, and even though he's excited, he is very eccentric. Uh, funny to watch in game sometimes. Uh, Fernandez up front there. And then we got Fingal and Ezekiel Gomez from Peñarol goes into the first team as another central midfield option. Oscar Gonzalez is still here at 31 years old. Gadiel Kim is now 32 years old. He's just sensational. He's sublime as a midfielder. There's Luis Enrique. Uh, we got Christoph Marichal, who didn't hit the heights what I expected. 25 years old. Looks very standard. We kind of settled into his um, second choice goalkeeper role. There's Boris Mitev. How good was Boris Mitev? Oh, how good has Boris Mitev become? Uh, Leandro Moreira. And then we've got Mario Malai, who I believe was on loan at the start of the season when we brought back uh, Gabriel Ruiz, I think is another person that we just brought in from the under-23s. Uh, Sablich, under-23s, definitely. And just promoted Viral, obviously. And then we've got uh, Schubert, who's out on loan at the moment to Edzela. Rui Silva, right back. Torre, still here, of course. Samuel Zaza, still here. Agudo, yep. Oh, so, my apologies. Maricella is the third-choice goalkeeper. Sound. Antonio, player that was um, produced by Titus Patanj, was on loan at Porto at the start of this season. Uh, but look look how good he is, man. He, perfectionist personality. Um, he started out as an advanced midfielder, but we were able to train him up as a uh, striker. Now he's got 16 finishing, looking like a very, very good forward. Uh, doesn't have the aerial ability, but that is okay. Uh, scored a hat-trick on his debut and a hat-trick in the following game with a brace on his third. I mean, that's not a bad way to start everything off. Calabrese. 32 years old, still here. Savo Saran, who's unfortunately had a broken lower leg. Might not get the Ballon d'Or in this particular year, the 2064 um, calendar year. However, he did get it, when I find it, awards on the Ballon d'Or. He did get it in 2063, which makes it three there. There's your fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, eighth Ballon d'Or. It's his eighth Ballon d'Or. Absolutely ridiculous. Let's get back to it. I think I don't think I'd finished the uh, the team of now. So that was Savo Saran. 
Uh, Ruben Courtois might be a first team striker now. Just incredible pace on the lad. Um, Marius Dumi Trash, who uh, was very, very patient in waiting for his first team chance. I've just brought him up and he's potential immediately dipped. So that's that's a bit sad. And we're back to Mbalo. Okay. And uh, yeah, even with uh, some of the contracts expiring in the under 23s at the end of this year, uh, the one that really hurts me is Daniel Uwe. I think he's going to Chelsea. Yeah, that hurts because I've seen him from at Zeller. We got him at a cheap. It's nice that another Luxembourg club was producing players, but um, we sadly didn't get it all sorted. And I tell, if I did have the concentration and the commitment to this save, he would have never gone. Anyway, I digress. Um, he is. He will be leaving. But look at the amount of players that we've got as backups, under 18s as well. Um, we seem to have this uh, this goalkeeper doing quite well. I think yeah, we had a Brazilian goalkeeper coming in this uh, youth intake. Um, so he might be decent. Who knows? We'll ne to be fair, we'll never know unless we get into the, the internationals. And I remember for some reason. Okay, well, this is it. Champions League for our 21st trophy in this competition. Hey, if, if we don't win it, we don't win it. I just need to get this episode done. So uh, we get one step closer to getting to our Football Manager 2023 content. It's been... It's been a hell of a ride. I think the construction workers are doing it a little bit slowly because they know that if they if they don't get the stadium done in time, we can have another six months with the manager. You know what I mean? Um, I, I get it. I get it. Um, Johan Remy's playing for Bayern Munich. Uh, Saidi's playing for Bayern Munich, who used to be one of our players. Anybody else? I think Shadrach Amadou also was uh, one of our guys. Bayern Munich have been, you know, a consistent problem in this save uh one of the bigger teams uh so there you go congratulations to them for reaching the final hopefully they don't go one further but if they do go one further this is the year isn't it because i've, I've not taken my eye completely off the ball I've, I've won the league i've won the luxembourg cup go on Moreira. bottom corner or oh, oh, just slam it home very nice. His 39th goal of the season. But yeah, if, if Bayern Munich are to win one of these Champions Leagues, um, it's probably this year. But uh, they will have to fight from being behind. Uh, Moreira has taken a knock, but I just cannot afford to get it, take him off the field just yet. Fernandez will come on probably at half-time. That will be a, a very inexperienced front line. Fernandez and Antonio. Moreira cannot continue. That's a shame. That's a shame. Well, Malai doesn't like the big game, so Fernandez will be coming in. And it's been a, a quick rise up the uh up the old charts for Gonzalo Fernandez, who was signed up from uh, Passos de Ferreira for a half a million pounds. And here he is. Uh, hopefully, we can get a second so I can bring the Azerbaijani lad on. That would be that would be a nice send off as well. Like if, the the stuff that we've been able to do in this save has been um, truly heroic. All right, into the dressing room. We're uh, going about our business quite comfortably ish. Uh, I think it would be smart to swap these two about because I know Antonio is a good complete forward on on support whereas uh, Fernandez might just be more suited to the advanced role we got Courtois that's slightly injured now um and we are lacking wing options interesting uh so I could I mean it's not it's not good not a good idea. Maybe Fernandez as the right hand side, Fingerland as the left hand side, and then we have to bring on Malai. Two injuries in the Champions League. Bayern Munich hitting us hard, I guess. 
Maybe that's their idea of trying to win the game. School of Hard Knocks. They've got to score in 20 minutes. If they do score in the 20 minutes, I kind of fancy them. 15 minutes is Amit Erislan. And below decides to uh, push that away and not catch. Could have, could have probably caught that, to be fair. So what else? Antonio is very, very unhappy, to be honest. I might give them a shout. Um, don't want to praise them, though. No, I'm gonna have to praise them. That's the only. That's the only way that I can get a positive reaction out of some of them. Hey, there you go. And that is done and dusted. It's not going to be a well-rounded 20 Champions Leagues for Titus Potenge. It's going to be 20 plus 1. Um, and that's if uh, the stadium actually does get built in August. Because we could be in a situation where it doesn't get built in August and we have to go through another bleeding season of this. But surely, surely it's got to be done soon. I, I can't see it being delayed that much longer like we're talking we're talking at least a year if not more now it's absolutely bonkers there was no need to play it around the bike like we've just done mitrev at the bike post clearing it out clearing the lines no nonsense stuff great save great save can't really complain about my boys today have I? like they've just come in Done the job here in the Champions League final. It's been pretty comfortable with Bayern Munich not having like any heart in mouth moments in front of goal. The flag is raised there. We can take our time on the uh, on the old free kick. They have got into the game. I don't know what they've done uh, in terms of tactics, but I've just seen the match facts and they have definitely taken more chances here in like the last ten minutes or so. Lovely ball into a new new horse. And there's Remy being blocked in the six yard box. Should quickly get a couple in. Yes, let's bring bring on the uh Azerbaijani line. I can't make any more substitutions. Well, let's uh let's cancel that. And then let's quickly boom, boom, shake the room. See if we can get the Azerbaijani lad in. But there's like five seconds remaining. Ears open. Fernandez down the uh, right-hand side. Is that the end of the game? Ah, well, couldn't get the Azerbaijani lad on. We had to see through the game. See out the game first. It's amazing that I can even walk in a straight line without using, like, a walking stick or something. My man's 70, God knows what. By this time, my knees are gone. All right, well done, lads. I think it's Torre that will... Uh, Lift the lift the Champions League, and there you go. 21 Champions League to keep on uh, winning this stuff. Let's see who does the cartwheel. It's always nice to see who does the cartwheel. Oh, 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 oh he's number 17, whoever it is. Whoever number 17 is. Well done, guys. Well done. You have been you have been an amazing bunch of players, to be honest. I hope they I hope they win another Champions League after I've gone, but I think it will slowly get dismantled. Who was number seventeen? Have a guess. Have a guess. Uh, I'm gonna guess it was Fernandez. No, no number forty. Number seventeen was doo -doo -doo, Boris Mitsev. Yes, mate. <laughs> a big centre bike just doing a cartwheel. Love it. So there's your famous quadruple uh, Champions League. Uh, I think that's the league. That's the Luxembourg Cup and the Super Cup, of course, at the start of the season. Got ourselves 17.1 million, a couple of uh, small injuries. And um, before I leave you, I'm just going to press this. Don't really know what I've just committed to. <laughs> Uh, let's decline. Let's keep on declining. Let's just be slightly ignorant at the start, at the end of, at the end of, um, this season. Clock approaching retirement. Yeah, I'm re close to approaching retirement, pal. Just waiting on my fucking stadium. 
All right, end of season review. I want to see how many shirts we're selling now. So uh, we're selling nearly a million every single year. 891,010. Four. And that, that's it. Savo Saran, the uh, highest shirt sales, Gerland, Cotois, Moreira, Calabrese. Very, very good. Very good, guys. And that is your lot. Thank you ever so much for watching another episode of Titus Patanj. When will it end, Robbie? When will it end? <laughs> When will it end? Hopefully we get through the uh, summer transfers without much um, planning. I think if we get a message saying that the stadium has been delayed again, I might start doing transfers. Um, but I'm trying not to do transfers. Just get through as quickly as possible. And then if... Um, if the stadium is ready for August, that'll be it. That'll be the final game, whatever it is. Our first home match, uh, hopefully in the Luxembourg League. Might be a Champions League match. Who knows? Who the hell knows at this point? I, I, just, I just really want to get to that moment where I can save up the game and I can open up Football Manager 2023 and be excited. I have a new journey, even though it's not going to be as lengthy and as mad as this as crazy as this uh venture right then thank you ever so much for watching this series it does mean the world uh we're chilling we're getting there i'm sorry it's taking so long uh, like i said when you don't really want to play it when you just want to finish it this does drag and it has been dragging but the show must go on until that stadium is built Bye-bye.